We're talking the Red Triangle. Yes, Johannes Roberts directing big budget shark attack horror movie. Yes, I love my shark attack horror movies. Um, if you've been following us on uh, Fast Food Frights, which I haven't done one in quite some time, I just haven't had the time to really sit back and watch any uh, just throwaway horror. Most Trashy of the stuff I'm horror. watching is is for the show. Um, so it's one of those things where it's like I just haven't really had that time to sit back and watch anything. So I haven't been able to really reboot that series. But this this is not that this is exciting. Um, I am, I guess, kind of a passive fan of Johannes Roberts work. I enjoyed um, 47 meters down for what it was. I, I didn't think it was perfect. Um, but I guess since it's sitting right here, cause I'm reorganizing some things, I do own it. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where I really enjoyed 47 meters down on cage. I thought that that had a much stronger concept, a little bit of something different that I hadn't seen before. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that he's definitely got potential. I always just was kind of on the cusp of saying, if you just give the guy a little bit more money, I think he's got the creativity and clearly, since this is going to be like either his third or fourth shark film, I think he did one other. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But this is his third shark film that I know of that he's got a love for the stuff. So it's like he's going to definitely hopefully knock this out of the park. But, man, I am just intrigued by this concept. Did you look into this at all? Do you know what it's about? No, you're going to have to wow me on this one, Dylan. Uh, when a cruise ship... A, a massive floating fully stocked resort with thousands of passengers begins to sink in the red triangle a feeding frenzy begins so yeah it's going to be dealing with an entire cruise ship sinking and it's just going to be an absolute bloodbath with tons of sharks and all kinds of stuff uh just ripping people to pieces it sounds super intriguing and the fact that they're claiming that it's a big budget so hopefully it's going to get a theatrical release and that it's going to be something that, you know, actually we got some build up to. And I'm I'm so stoked about this because, you know, it seems like for a minute there we were getting uh, one solid shark film a year ever since The Shallows. Um, and then it kind of died off, obviously, with the pandemic and everything. But uh, it seems like we might be getting back there. You know, we got the Meg, which wasn't bad. Those are fun. Uh, we have the Meg 2 supposedly coming out this year. And then I think this will be either this year or next year so i'm 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 here for it yeah i know you are dylan uh for <laughs> me <laughs> this stuff you know the i guess the shark horror subgenre has never really been my forte um so this one for me like okay so you know i enjoyed 47 meters down i remember us having a discussion on it and you saying you know it was a really good shark film and i went into that one you know with complete hesitation I really enjoyed it. I didn't ever, I never got a chance to see the uh, sequel, um, but I, I didn't know you spoke so highly of it until actually just right now. Um, but um, it's, so it's a know, lot stronger. Um, I'm intrigued to definitely see it. Um, you know, like the shallows, I enjoyed the shallows uh, quite a bit up until I think it was like the last 20 minutes. It lost me a little bit. Um, uh, I haven't seen it in a while, so I'll maybe go back and revisit that one. But, it's, you know, these shark films, it, it, they're a hard sell for me, I'll be honest, you know, because a lot of the CGI stuff doesn't work. But I'm very intrigued to see that, you know, he's finally getting a big budget here um, because I think he did well with 47 meters down. So I'm really intrigued to see what he's going to bring uh, into this one. I mean, like what you pitched to me, well, what the little blurb there of everything kind of did, um, I, I don't know, I guess for me, it seems a little sci-fi channel. Um, but like having a budget around it and building that tension, I think you can certainly do it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm more in the camp of having one shark, you know, I think that's probably just the, the jaws fan in me of how well that one worked, but it's like, I know you can't really replicate that too much. So you kind of have to, um, go out into the water, so to speak, and, um, try something new and different and bring a different dynamic to these films. So I'm intrigued to see what they're going to bring to this one, especially this being a big budget. I'm excited to see what that CGI is going to look like. Um, and, you know, I, I went to the theater to see the Meg and that one was, you know, complete hesitation on my end, but you know, it's, it, for me, it's not something that I go back and rewatch, but I think it was a lot of fun to go sit in the theater and watch it. So, you know, this one, he clearly knows how to tell a shark film. Um, and then having that budget behind it, uh, I think can only get better. So I think 
at the very least going to the theater to see this it's going to be a lot of fun yeah and ultimately that's what i go to these for it is fun a couple of, of frightful chills i mean if you've been following the channel a little bit over the last couple of weeks i've been playing death in the water too um you know which is just you're in the dark diving looking for treasure looking for things fighting off creatures and sharks and other things and you know it's like this is just my bag this is the kind of stuff that i love um and yeah i looked into it uh he only did those two shark films again um i like the concept of 47 meters down um i think there were a couple of moments where you know it was very effective a couple things uh just okay to me but um i gotta say i think the second one is definitely after sitting with it for a little longer um a much more interesting concept um and just so um if you are uh, not familiar it has uh uh sissy rose uh sistine or sissy uh sistine rose stallone in it so stallone's daughter is one of the main characters is it so, isn't jamie fox's daughter uh yes yeah um corini fox corina corini I don't know yeah. what I'm saying, but yes, they, they have a couple of uh, big Hollywood uh, stars in there, or at least their kids. So, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this, man. I, you know, you know me, I, I, I'm an easy sell for this kind of stuff, whether it's good or bad. But uh, I do have faith that this one is at least going to be entertaining. Um, yeah, it, it does it sound a little sci-fi esque? Sure. But uh, hey, at the end of the day, if, if you got a shark movie and you're putting it on the big screen, I'm there day one. Doesn't matter. No, yeah. And, and for me, it's like, you know, I don't hate the concepts of these things. I just think there is a lot of potential that's never, never realized. Throwing a shark with almost a psychological element in building the tension. And then, you know, we kind of end up going into that fun route of, uh, you know, uh, blood and guts. And, and, and which, you know, hey, this is a horror channel. Of course, we're all here for it. But I think, you know, just looking at Jaws and how, again, it, it, it sucks for the shark genre because... The first film out of the gate was perfection so it's always going to be compared even though you can't replicate jaws it it's always going to be in the discussion here even though you, you have to unmarry yourself from that but for me it's just like um i want to see someone kind of build that tension not verbatim but you know do something to build that tension and i think maybe he could i mean he's got he's got such a, a background in these shark films um that i think he knows what works and what doesn't work so I'm certainly going to be intrigued to see what he's bringing here because, you know, hey, to do your third shark film, I feel like it's not just, hey, for the hell of it. I think, you know, he still has elements that he wants to bring in film. Like you said, you know, that first 47 meters down was an intriguing concept. And then you said the sequel was an even more intriguing concept. So I think he's going to keep, you know, as long as he's in the shark genre, I think he's going to keep telling these different stories. Yeah, and I think that he is a good eye for picking those stories. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think we've spent more than enough time on the shark topic. I'm glad we got the gush about it. I don't want to run us over too much because, honestly, I could talk about it quite a bit. But, yeah, I think one of these summers uh, when we know this is coming out or something, I, I will have shark to have us sit down and do some Shark Week stuff. Yeah, absolutely. 